Hi, I'm Lance from Fusion, and in today's installment of Tech Tips, we're going to cover off all the basic features and functions of the keys on your Fusion Marine stereo. So the first thing we'll look at is the rotary encoder or volume knob. Now this is used for a number of functions, the first one being obviously to adjust the volume within zones, and also to navigate menus and select highlighted items. To adjust the volume, simply rotate the encoder to the right to increase the volume, and to step through your zones, press the encoder and you'll see the highlight option change as you step through one zone or all zones. The next most common button you're going to use is the menu button. Now this gives you access to the menu structure within each source, which may vary, but there are some common features like the main settings menu. So to get into the settings menu, simply press the menu button, rotate the encoder to select settings and press the encoder. This gives you access to the settings menu, which is the same in every source. So there's one main difference between the Fusion stereos. Some will have a single source button which needs to be pressed to rotate through the cycles of sources. Alternatively, you will have an individual key for each source. So depending on whether you've got a 600 or a 700 series, you'll have three different source buttons across the top of the unit. Tuner, auxiliary sources, and lastly the DVD source, because this is an AV model. If this was an IP model, there would be an icon of an iPod on the last button. Now to scroll through the tuner, simply press the button to go from AM to FM to VHF and lastly Sirius XM if you're in the USA tuner region and you have the appropriate Sirius XM tuner attached. Now the next button is the auxiliary button which starts in the iPod source, then USB, MTP, Bluetooth and auxiliary. Now, if you have a Bluetooth module connected, the MSBT200, you cannot have the Sirius module connected. There's only one auxiliary cable, so it's one or the other. Now, the last button is the DVD button. Now, this source is for CD and DVD playback. So, an iPod source, you get all the basic functions. Next, obviously your next track, back to step back a track, your play pause buttons, and also you can use your menu button to access the iPod menu. There you get your options of artist, album, genre, etc. And simply rotate the encoder and press to select your required choice. If you're going for an artist, album or song, there's an alpha search which you can use to select by any alphabet character and choose the song you require. So in your tuner mode, there's two different ways to save presets and this applies to AM, FM and VHF. You can simply scan to the next station and press and hold the play button until preset saved appears on the screen or simply press the menu button, select presets and save current. So the last three buttons that you'll see is the mute, the clock and the brightness button. Okay, so to mute all zones, simply press the mute button, the mute icon appears on the screen and to release, press again. Clock, simple feature, shows the current time. Press again to release. Brightness, press once, brightness displayed. The encoder changes the brightness as you rotate backwards and forwards. Press again to move out of that feature. Another very useful, unique Fusion innovation is subwoofer direct control. A quick access press and hold of the rotary encoder takes you into the subwoofer menu where you can adjust the sub in one or any zone. Now one thing we do recommend with your Fusion product being in the marine environment, it's a good idea at the end of each day to just simply wipe down the front and the inside of the unit with a damp cloth. We also recommend that if you're not using your head unit, you use the provided silicon dust cover to protect the head unit. So one of the features of the 700 series is the standby deep sleep function. Now this saves power draw on standby current. So basically when you connect power to the unit for the first time, it will go into a boot phase. That takes about 15 seconds and you'll see the unit boot up to the Fusion logo and then it will go to the 700 screen and go back to sleep. Now this is when you wake it up with the power button. So once the 12 volt power supply has been enabled, simply power the unit on from the red power button on the left hand bottom. 
So now you should be familiar with all the basic functions of your Fusion Stereo, you can simply go and relax and enjoy your music. If you need any more information, you can contact me directly at lance at fusionelectronics.com. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next instalment of Fusion Tech Tips.